so we are moving on to the final uh, story, uh, master storyteller of the open conference, Shruti. I will take a moment to kind of introduce uh, the story. Shruti Wahi, currently a product manager at MXL, managing a platform as a product about crowdfunding and media products through its entire life cycle. A business development, operations, and product development experts with over two decades of experience across BPO media and SaaS sectors. Work with Hindustan Times Media House played a key role in launching UK, US content of Factiva, Dow Jones, and LexisNexis, which rose their revenues fourfold. Integrated 150 plus publications from different geographies, developed and launched a new revenue stream of content outsourcing that is yielding revenues in millions. Single-handedly, she established the process quality department for the more achieved revenues worth 16 crores with top-notch clients as Walmart, Mintra, Housing.com, Fashion and You, Yatra, Big Basket, et cetera. With added EBITDA of 40%, the company's top line grew 200%. On the personal side of her story, she has been an entrepreneur, an agripreneur who practices natural farming, a yoga teacher, an entrepreneur and a business visual note taker, and she believes every day is her last day. Additionally, she taught business blind students for close to three years as a mentor at Akhil Bharatiya Netra in Sun in 2016, coordinated dancers at the World Cultural Festival, helped told their stories through art. Visual note-taking is not just a story preparation, but also a storytelling. Right from cavemen to Picasso to Ravi Verma or the latest journalists, did their paintings and pictures tell a story for itself? When the language wasn't born, stories were still told. Shruti bridges user problems with solutions through her sketches. We are out to hear her learn to hand draw visual storytelling on flip charts especially for product managers. Over to you, Shruti. Thank you so much, Satya. Uh, so uh, I think uh, uh, the best part of this session is I really don't have any PPT and uh, we'll, I'll go live and draw. So I'll just flip the camera and we'll, you know, I, I suggest everybody should grab their pens and uh, paper if they have and draw along with me. And uh, it'll be great, you know, they'll learn how actually we do this visual thinking. So I'll just flip the camera and sure. So uh, to start with, what actually is visual telling? Uh, you know, what actually is visual thinking? Uh, some people say it's a way to communicate in a faster way, as in. You communicate faster when you, you know, draw with visual. Some say it's ways to work with your ideas. Uh, industry experts like Willem and Brand, uh, she says, you know, it's all about empowering people. I'll... And, you know, my industry expert like Mike Broad, he, for him, it's all about, he's actually the father of sketch notes. And if you read Brandy Agarbeck book, you know, it, for her, it's all about you listen first, you think, and then you draw. So if you ask me, you know, um, visual thinking is all about empathizing, you know, you empathizing with unsaid. So you actually, uh, uh, share, you know, same feelings as your audience is sharing and uh, uh, without even reading the words, without, uh, uh, you know, the, if words are not said and even the, your pictures actually should speak word. So I believe it's all about empathizing with the unsaid. So I'll take you uh, first through, uh, this is what, and then let's, let's see why we need visual thinking. So uh, basically, uh, you know, when you draw or when you create all these visuals, 
uh, you actually tend to retain and recall these info. All this information, you know, it gets recalled in your, it, and uh, you know, when you are, uh, you, you usually see with kids that they learn easily when they see pictures and uh, when you so you know uh, tell them to see the illustrations they remember all easily so you retain and recall through pictures then yes you are using your left brain and your right brain both of them are working together when you draw as well as you write it's about imagination you get a bigger picture out of it. In any meeting, if you draw and if you share, you know, vision on a board, all the entire audience gets a bigger picture out of it. As a group, also, you know, uh, your, your group memory too increases. And it makes lot and lot of impact. Okay. And then let's see when we should do visual thinking. When we actually lack words. When we cannot, you know, we are not able to convey our feelings, then we should use visuals. We should use these drawings and icons. When you want to stand out from the crowd you need to actually and if your ppt has lot of text in it then also you should use visuals and also to maximize i think you should use vis visuals and where we should use vis visuals uh, it's anywhere and everywhere Who should use vis uh, visuals? Anybody. I think anybody, you know, teachers, kids, my, my kids are even using visuals. I think we are actually uh, brawn and brought up as in we take notes while we are uh, studying in the class. Even teachers use vis visuals. So I think anybody, anywhere can use visuals. Now part is how. How to use visuals? I think there is many... Uh, uh, one of uh, the inspiration I've got from uh, Dave Gray, he has given a very beautiful, uh, I would say, uh, metrics to us. That is, one part is you use your head. Another part is you use your heart. So when you're using your head, it's more about abstract and the logical part. But when you're using a heart, it's more about you're using metaphors out there. And it's all about emotions, engagement, and uh, your passion. Like I'll give you one example out here. Uh, uh, you know, when we were in school, colleges, uh, this is the way we used to draw the flow chart. Remember? The diamond shape, yes, was like this and no was. So in, uh, when, when you are using hard, you can use a metaphor like, say for example, if a person is out here and he has to reach from point A to point B. So uh, there is a, there's actually a vision story out here which you can you know, present. So, so these are the uh, five W's and one H actually of visual thinking. So I'll switch over now to uh, the visual mindset principles. What actually are the principles of visual
so it's see the first thing is you have to be very clear in mind it's all about idea it's never ever about art and it's never ever about art so basically idea over art then the second principle is head to toe listening as in uh, you need to actually listen from your heart from your brain you need to use your eyes you need to you use your ears and then yes brain also so it's head to to listening and not just listening it's not about just listening it's head to to listening uh, then the third thing is reading the message you know when you are in a conference when you are in events try to listen to the message don't never ever think or focus on design or art or anything just try to listen to the message because the more you you know absorb the message more it will be clear you will have some uh, the, you know clarity about how you have to go through it then uh, uh, the important thing is visual vocabulary i'll tell you later on how to de develop this visual vocabulary and not just plain vocabulary not just plain vocabulary then uh, it's about drawing letters you know you need to learn some or the other fonts maybe minimum at least two fonts you need to learn because it's all about drawing letters and not just writing letters it's never about that you just have to write you need to know how to draw letters like i tell you this example this is visual thinking uh, written in red color so it's one of the fonts you know i've learned as as a heading main heading that's uh, about metaphors rather than illustration i think i've already conveyed there should be some story around your uh, okay metaphors then and if you see you know while drawing i am using uh, uh these drawings as well as text so it should be balance of both of them balance is very important you not have only text or only figure in the visuals otherwise it will never work and then last which is extremely important and close to my heart that is you need to have empathy and not sympathy when you are drawing that's utmost important thing then only you'll get a you know a smile if you are empathizing you have gratitude you keep smile on your face while dry, you know drawing while conveying your thoughts uh, and putting across your idea message or using metaphors then i think uh, you are a great visual thinker so let's see you know there are 11 essential elements out here the first element is hand lettering i'll tell you one example as in this is a b c and these are small so what actually it helps is if you have learned these uh, hand lettering or fonts you can draw fast you are organized then the next thing is color 
color is very important because first of all it's you know the sheet gets bright it's good to eyes and one more thing out here it should be legible at least you know people should be able to read read what actually you're writing and then um, yes lines if you see i've used these uh, lines there are a couple of ways you can draw lines this is straight then you can use dots you can use double lines you can do zigzag and then you know bigger zigs like mountains next is bullets there are various ways to draw bullets star uh, dot circle you know boxes square boxes now so lines actually uh, connect ideas and bullets actually make points clear you, know, you can uh, list them down and then uh, next are arrows you need to learn minimum two arrows as in this is the straight arrow then you can learn these curves or you can learn these double line arrows too so these are basically connectors you can connect your thoughts and there is flow to this is people these are important part of thinking because people uh, there are two things in uh, people that's emotions and the second thing is figure so in emotions uh, austin approach is extremely important uh, because i loved his approach where in what he has done is he has done uh, he has given us a met metrics wherein there are uh, there is a single line there is a down and there is, then there is a up same, same way you can write down line and up and then you can make emoticons out of it as in if you draw a circle you use this one as two eyes and this one as mouth then you again or line this has two eyes and this as the circle of draw n number of emoticons out here and then uh, the, the figure is uh, some people you know draw people uh, like star shape that's how they draw some people uh, draw like this with hands out there some draw with as a stick figures you know they use stick figures so you can select your this thing it's no fixed hard and fixed what uh, figures we have to use you can create even your own figures the next is boxes so uh, there are many ways of drawing boxes like this is one then this is another way there are many many you can you know you can google it you'll get lot and lot of ways and you can you know write your content here so uh, you can group the ideas together boxes help you in you know grouping the ideas together even for collection these are the two things then there uh, shading is very important circle shade actually shading gives depth to the figure if you draw a box you can shade their side with other colors it gives depth depth even if you're drawing a face or a people you can you know shade with this side it gives depth then our icons i'll tell you one icon as in you know uh, if you if you uh, try combining these icons we know this is an icon of time you know the clock if you combine this time icon with this is table you know and you can easily make time table and you can use this icon so try combining these icons and make your new icons out there i'll i'll tell you later on you know how to do this how to practice this then there are metaphors i think i've already uh, uh, discussed this in this um, 
uh, Dave Gray uh, uh, metrics that these, you can use these metaphors or layouts out there. And last but not the least, the visual vocabulary is very, very important. Try, try, you know, developing one, at least one uh, icon or font daily. Uh, and I'll show you later on. Uh, let's move to the dedicated journal. As in, you know, what habits uh, you can develop while doing this visual uh, thinking. You can develop these habits with three major things. It should be great to cut you here, but uh, we have three more minutes to go and we need to take sure. a minute as well. So. Sure, I'll just take a minute or more. Yeah. Uh, first is to have your dedicated journal. Then you don't have to imagine images. Never ever imagine images. There are a lot of resources online uh, that are available, uh, like uh, the noun uh, project.com, quick draw, uh, Google. You can even you know get the words from apps like Word Draw, Quick Draw. You can Google images by adding the word icon also. And whenever you uh, move out, always carry a small uh, journal with you like this. I always keep this journal with me. And then uh, you can use uh, these story cubes also. Say for example, um, I'll just show you. You can uh, you know, uh, throw them, combine these two icons. So these are available online, you can Google them. Uh, this will, will help you build your vocabulary and then last, is your daily routine always have 10 minutes you know uh, uh, with your spend 10 minutes with your journal and uh, believe me you'll have a visual vocabulary of yours one day so uh, at the end i just want to say anyone say that you are not able to draw i don't believe that and content is king out here that's it. I think uh, this is the entire visual uh, presentation or the visual thinking at one go, you know, everybody can see. Uh, these are the things we need to keep in mind if you really want to develop the visual minds. Thank you. Satya, over to you. Thanks, Shruti. Yeah, thanks, Shruti. That was amazing. I mean, uh, definitely uh, what it started out as sketch notes uh, became uh, visual elements and then converted to stories. And I do not know if I'm good enough to say now that is that I would definitely start drawing something from here on. <laughs> it's so inspiring. So one or two questions that we will take at quick, uh, which came in the way is that how to not burn out on sketching while noting. Um, okay. Uh, remember the principles I told? It's all about idea. It's never about art, you know. So you don't have to uh, sketch each and everything. It's a balance of text and uh, uh, visual. Uh, don't even worry that your sketches are beautiful or polished. It's really not about art. And uh, remember we discussed last night, uh, you should enjoy the process rather than the end product of it. And mostly be empathetic with your audience. I think that's that most important thing. And the last question uh, is that uh, you had discussed a lot about physical tools. Literally, you took us through the drawing session. If it would have been in a PPT, we would have only imagined, but you walked us through it so we could yeah. experience it. So these are good with physical tools, but what about digital tools? While most of us are connected through work from home and use digital medium, what are all the tools we have? Absolutely, absolutely. There are a lot of apps. Um, uh, Procreate is one of them. And I really love Procreate when I use Apple. Then there are Notability, there are Autodex, there are GoodNotes, uh, OneNote is also there. Adobe, you know, Draw, Mural, uh, Explain Everything, Paper. There are many, many, many. It's actually, uh, if you see, Notability is great for um, uh, sketch noting and uh, note management. Procreate for features. Um, uh, paper is very simple interface and uh, the concept has unlimited canvas also. But my best one is Procreate. You know, I use that when I it's all when I go digital, it's Procreate. Thanks a lot, Shruti. So uh, with the interest of time again, I think we covered it pretty much uh, with three different stories. And I'm fortunate to have introduced all of these stories and learned from it. So as a mark of uh, appreciation, Again, we have a certificate of appreciation from Product Leadership Festival today on the Art of Storytelling uh, edition. 
there is a scan code. You could, uh, when you scan it, you take it to the Hall of Fame. And uh, thanks for all the energy and uh, the, the sketches. As you say, sketches do tell stories. At the end, at the end, I would like to say only one thing. Every story uh, doesn't end. It starts in the hearts and the minds of people. Great stories, again, happen to those who can tell them. Facts tell, stories sell. Thanks Good. a lot. Great to have the audience with more questions and great to have speakers. And over to you, Shama. Thank you, Satya, for moderating the session so gracefully and seamlessly. And please accept this certificate of appreciation from the Institute to you too for being a part of the Open Conference and being the chair of the Open Conference. And Thanks thank so you much. speakers for the excellent storytelling. All the sessions were engaging and fantastic delivery. Thanks a lot. Have a good evening. Good morning from wherever you are. Thank you.